What's going on everyone? Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and on today we're going to dive into this Instagram quote on my account which is, when you take ownership of your past, your future becomes yours to create. Woo. What do I mean by that? That your future becomes yours to create. So you're over here in your past and you're like, I want to get over here and I want to create this. But yet, all of this stuff hasn't been dealt with. Well, the whole idea of dealing with your past is the fact that you're going to start to have a greater level of self-awareness, ownership, taking conscious control and self-awareness into account, which will give you access to tools and strategies and res uh, resilience that you haven't otherwise had. Because if you haven't dealt with your story of you know, not being good enough or anything like this, if you don't really have the self-awareness around it and you're still disconnecting every time that comes up, and if you haven't watched my video around disconnection and disassociation, I'll put it on the little card up here so you can go and check that one out after, or I'll put it on the end of the screen as well. But when it comes to taking ownership for all of your old stuff, this is the core fundamental work that I support my clients through when it comes to healing all of that childhood trauma, healing past relationship trauma, really getting underneath it and understanding it so that if something comes up, somebody says something, something doesn't go your way, then you're going to react from your unconscious belief, your unconscious stories, your unconscious habits, all of this stuff. And you're not actually in control because unconsciously your life is playing out. It's on autopilot. But when you start to heal all of this, all of that childhood trauma, all of that past stuff, the relationship stuff, the self-belief stuff, all of this, then when something comes up, you are empowered because you're able to work through it in a quicker way. You don't get taken out of the game because if you're gonna go down this path of entrepreneurship, let's just say you're thinking about starting your own drop shipping business, coaching business, photography business, uh, affiliate marketing comp business, whatever it might be. You're like, this is it, I'm fed up with my current, current job, career, I wanna go and do this. Or maybe it's in a relationship sense and you're like, okay, I'm gonna walk away from this relationship. I know that this one's not healthy for me, but I'm scared about all of this over the other side. Whatever it is that's going on, when you start to leave the old world behind and you start to take the steps into the new world, there are going to be people who are going to remind you of the old world. Be your friends, family, oh, he wasn't that bad, or she wasn't that bad, or, you know, job is safer, you don't have the skills to do this, all of these sorts of things. And when these projections are sent your way, if you haven't dealt with your past stuff, if you haven't dealt with all of the things that are going on, it will take you out of the game emotionally, mentally, and it'll have you disconnect from life. You know, check in with yourself. Where are you at right now? Is this something that's resonating with you? Is this something that maybe somebody said something today at work and all of a sudden you're like, checked out, I'm gone. And now you're struggling to get that connection and compassion back to yourself. Or maybe there is you know, a family member that's projected something your way. Or heck, you're scrolling social media and you're seeing something and you're like, self-judgment mode, tick. Oh my gosh, I can't be that good. Out of the game. Then what? Then what are you gonna do? But when you have that understanding and you've healed all of that past stuff, you're able to go straight to where all of this is coming from, having the compassion. And the other one is avoiding or disassociating. You know, what's going on for you? Because when you've healed all of that past stuff, when you've got a good understanding of who you are, dealt with the, the self-belief stuff, dealt with the projections of other, dealt with past traumas, childhood, relationship, whatever it might be, uncovered all of your unconscious limiting beliefs, and you've worked to heal all of those. When this shows up, okay, it might knock you still. Yeah, yeah you might sort of like, whew, okay, uh, what's going on? And then you're able to process through, understand, oh, it's that story from when I was five and I was standing in front of the classroom and my teacher said something that you're not good at public speaking or doing this show and tell thing. And now you're bitter and twisted because somebody else just told you that you're not good. Oh, okay. Well, I have all of this evidence over here that says I am good at what I do. Okay. That's interesting that they say that. 
I know who I am because I've done the work and I've healed all of that. Cool. Pick yourself back up, off you go, continue down the path of creating your life and being more in conscious control. So in the moment, as I was talking about before, you're unconsciously reacting to the world. Like that's your autopilot, that's your strategy, boom. Next minute you're sitting on the couch drinking a bottle of wine and eating a block of chocolate. You know, or maybe you're down at the burger shop having a big fat juicy burger and you're like, how did I get here? That's because your unconscious autopilot has played out, that self-sabotaging has played out and you haven't been consciously aware of it so you're back in the cycle again okay now you feel bad you beat yourself up because you you ate that you drank that you did this you said that you whatever then you got to work through that and that's going to maybe take you a day and then on the other side of that okay we can do this we got this all right okay let's go at it again and then somebody else says something the same and next minute you're in the same spot again. You're back at that burger shop eating that burger. You're sitting on the couch drinking that red wine and the block of chocolate. Then it's like, Phew, how did I get here? Because you don't have that self-awareness and haven't healed all that past stuff, you get taken out of the game really, really quickly. So having that awareness, being able to be in conscious control, Understanding what the environmental factors are, understanding where your belief system is coming back to, understanding all of this is when you will be able to walk through life resilient, not worrying about what anybody says because you know who you are, you've done the healing work, and you understand where they're coming from. So when you understand that they're coming from their wounded inner child or their self-belief or whatever it might be, then you are able to have compassion for them and not take their words personally and be able to just keep walking through life. Just letting everything flow by, not worrying about it all. So what would that give you? What would that ability give you to create in your life? You know, what is it that you want to create? Let me know in the comments. You know, is it starting your own business? Is it, um, you know, and what sort of business? Or is it a new career? Is it a new relationship? Let me know down in the comments below. What is it that you want to create? And what stopped you from creating that to date? You know, what's stopping you from going out there and doing it? And how would being more consciously in control and healing your childhood wounds, your past relationship wounds, your self-belief stuff, how can you see that that will change things and how will that feel? What will that give you access to? Share this video with anybody who's going down that journey. You know, maybe you resonate with this and you're like, oh, my friend, they would really benefit from this information as well. And having that awareness so that they, can, they too can have access to a new life. So what is that? Share this video with them right now and I'll wrap it up because if you got any value out of it, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.